vitamin B12. That's in the news a lot. If you have any kind of neurological disorder, the first thing you should think about is vitamin B12 deficiency. Now you may go to your doctor and he draws a vitamin B12 level, maybe a folic acid level as well. And they come back sky high, he says, well, that can't be it. Look at these numbers, they're very, very high. Well, actually that may be an indication that you have a SNP in your genetic process, which affects the enzyme that converts storage form of B12 into the active form. If it's in storage form, it's no good. It's just sort of like having money in a trust fund. You can't really spend that until it's in your wallet or your checking account. And these enzymes are what do, do this conversion. So if that's the case, you really can't change your enzymes because you're born with those, but you can t change the form of B12. You can take an active form of B12, and that's methyl B12. Now it doesn't absorb very well through the stomach, so you wanna take it in a sublingual form the other form that we use is hydroxy B12. Now both of these have to be taken under the tongue and absorbed. And you may note a marked improvement in your symptoms, typically not in a day or two, but after a week or so, if you're on the active form of B12, you should see some improvement. 